boys, today we are going to be talking about MLB The Show 21. Coming to the close, kind of what they're tweeting and some of the things that they've ended up saying in the schedule, which speaks more than what they're actually telling us. But if it's going to end up being like last year, it might be the end of a great road of MLB The Show 21. We got so much this year. We got crossplay. We got it coming to Xbox. I mean, I got to play this on my Xbox Series X, which was so much fun. I absolutely loved it. And MLB The Show 22 is going to be right around the corner. It's going to be a lot of fun. We should be getting the cover athlete soon, which 99.98% sure that's going to be Shohei Otani since he is the face of baseball right now. The two-way stud Shohei he should get it. But we're going to be talking about is the schedule, man. And it is not looking very good. It looks like they're ending they're ending support and they're going to be focusing on next year's game, which is about what happened last year. Last year, about January through March, there was hardly any content that ended up coming to the game. The best that we ended up getting was like an event, one or two. But once the 11th inning program hit, man, it was brutal. Now, obviously, that doesn't mean that we're going to stop making content. We're going to keep on making bangers. And as soon as there's a lot more MLB trades and stuff, we're going to be doing a lot of MLB stuff as well. As full as a lot of IRL baseball content, I'm going to be having the best of might be come out very, very soon, which would be a whole 2021 kind of breakdown of the whole year. It was huge for me. We did a lot of things. We ended up going from, I believe, 1,200 subscribers all the way to 6,000, which is absolutely nuts. I absolutely loved it. Had a great time. And we're going to keep on grinding content. We're going to be doing a couple of series. I might be doing some Let's Play. I might be playing Halo, stuff like that. I know we're already doing that on the second channel, so make sure you guys drop a sub to that. But anyways, let's go and look at the schedule and what I'm talking about. So the schedule right now has... So obviously, it is the 27th today. So the Battle of the Scars event comes tomorrow, which should be the last big event. One thing that I am going to say about the Battle of the Stars event is it doesn't say that there's any new players coming, so I think this is just going to be one big last event. Part one of two events, build lineups with finest signature and all-star series players. It doesn't say that any new cards are coming to the game like it did last event with Ray Turner and all of that. And then we've got the 11th inning program, the forever program. Now, I, I, I'm not a big hater on this, honestly. I really am not. But the thing about the 11th inning program is the fact that it's just... One giant program of all of the inning packs, so everybody's going to be able to get every single inning boss that they want. Now, one thing that I will say that we are getting for Battle Royale is that it says that we are getting a new program in 14 days and 21 hours. Maybe that means we get some new diamonds. Maybe we'll get two more, but I could see them doing the season 11 just like the 11th inning program to where they make it to where it's just kind of one big program with all of the BR packs that we never got. And then another thing that I would say is they might even do that with ranked season. I know it says that we're going to end that January 3rd at 11. But one thing we got to kind of keep our eye out for is that they might be going a different route. Maybe they add one more legend card. We still haven't seen a 99 finest Otani or MVP Otani. Uh, we haven't gotten any of that yet. We haven't even gotten many of the Cy Young cards. I guess we did end up getting a finest Corbin Burns. But I would like to see a little bit more than that, and they can do a little bit better. I'm going to be honest, towards the end of the year, usually the game dies, but I feel like MLB The Show is one of the only games to kind of stop content coming out for like two months before the new one. Anyways, boys, I want to know your guys' thoughts on this. What do you guys think about MLB The Show 21 potentially stopping kind of new programs and new content coming to the game? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. I want to hear your guys' thoughts. And make sure you guys drop a like and sub if you haven't already. We're going to be grinding content. I'm going to be starting a lot more gameplay series. And the best of It's Brady coming out in probably a couple of days. That's a longer video. And I really want to make that one perfect. So I'm not going to rush that one out there. But thank you guys so much for the support you here. We're obviously going to keep on going. But it's looking like we're going to be slowing down with the new content coming to the game. Hope you guys had a great Christmas. Happy holidays. And peace.